Jesus, Jesus. What's up, folks? I'm already having a good day, and it hasn't even started yet. I just bathed. Made some broth, bathed, getting lint off my sweater, because apparently, a uh, dog hair off my sweater, because apparently there's dog hair in my bed. So every morning I wake up, I'm full of lint hair. And then I'm wearing a cotton t-shirt. Not as bad, but if I wear wool, forget it. Anywho, I'm having a good day. And it's just getting started. I'll tell you why. Let me take a drink of this. Let's hit water first. It's good. It's good. I am. That's funny how I. I I keep talking about how woo, all these years I spent listening and watching and reading all these millionaire gurus, internet millionaire gurus and all the things that they say and I follow them and uh, I'm about to forget what I was going to say. Well, shit. What happens when you have ADD and you get distracted? It's by turning off the heat. I forgot what I was going to talk about. Um, shit. Well, anyways. Oh, I just now I remember. They're like, whatever you do, don't get on your phone the first thing in the morning. So I tried to do that for a long time. I'm like, well, so-and-so said I shouldn't get on my phone in the morning, so I'm not going to get on my phone. Well, fuck that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's healthy. Maybe it's not. But the first thing I do is, well, I want to check what time it is. And, that's, it's, and then I get on my phone. And then when I check how many people like my pictures on Instagram and then I want to check my email you know, fuck me so anyways, first thing I did was check my Instagram and I had a message from somebody and it was this uh, this dude that followed me follows me on Instagram did a screenshot or took a picture of his Kindle highlighted a, a line in my book and told me that and, and said, it wrote to me this line is brilliant can you believe that? this line is brilliant somebody it's awesome when it's somebody you don't know. I mean, to have, to sell a bunch of books in one day is great, but when it's your cousin, your aunt, and whatever, but to have a stranger buy your book, read it, and then reach out to you and tell you, this line is brilliant. I'm done. I'm done. I could... I don't want to say anything. Um, I could die tomorrow. How's that? I could die tomorrow. Having felt that I succeeded as an author. <clears throat> and the cool thing was, is that I remember writing some brilliant lines, like these are brilliant. And then, so I, I when, when he said this is this line is brilliant, I looked on a picture. I'm like, which one is it? It's probably one of the ones that I wrote, and, it, and, it, and it's not. It's not one of the ones that I thought were brilliant. It was just something else. It's just awesome. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Why else am I having a good day? Well, in my email that I shouldn't have checked until after I did all my morning stuff, according to, you know, fucking... I'm really mad at these internet people. Their business is selling me, is selling people hype. Selling people false hope, I think. Only person who seems legit, and that's because he doesn't have anything for sale, right? It's Gary. Gary V. Fucking. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. It's, it's just giving and giving and giving and giving. has a book for sale, all those people, the people buy it, but I've been listening to him a lot, and he's really, he's, he has a point, like, he's not trying to buy you, just to sell you a, a $29.99 or a $100 ebook or a, a, a weekend seminar or a, a $500 course or everyone else it's trying to teach you how to be rich on the internet by selling you courses on how to be rich, how to get rich on the internet. That's how they're getting rich. Anyway, it's frustrating. I wasted a lot of time and effort and money with those fucking people. Anyways, so I check my email. What's in my email? Good Man Project. I don't know if you heard of the Good Man Project, but they are, uh, they publish articles that kind of, you know, it's the, it's the, their tagline is a conversation nobody's having. It's a men's website, men's, but uh, women read it, but, you know, men's article, health, fitness, mental health, stuff like that. They're publishing another one of my articles. Here's the cool thing. I wrote this article with the intent that the Good Men Project would publish it and that there would be links to my book in it. Now it's not it's not some uh it's not a bullshit article or like hey I wrote a you know it's legitimate how I feel about doing what you love. I made a video about it before. I linked that article article I wrote on my website to that video. It's legit, except the realization that I'm doing what I love and or is, ha, has recently occurred, right? And the thing that I love to do is write fucking books, write love little little love stories about Latin American people 70 years ago, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. But I loved it. And I, I love it. I love doing it. It's what I love to do. It has changed my life. And so I wrote an article about it. And of course, I put a link to my book. So we'll see how many people click on that link and buy my book today. Now that it's published. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, when I publish our, it's hit or miss with these articles. Sometimes they get just blown up, and people love them, and sometimes send me emails, and so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Good at heart. Uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving Tucson. I'm done. I, I, I like it here. I really do. But my living accommodations, uh, well, I'm driving my living accommodations, but I'm tired of, um, uh, being on the base with all these old motherfuckers. 
I'll come back when they're gone, for Christ's sake. The other thing is, I want to go fishing, and I need to get up in the mountains to do it. I think. I don't think there's, there isn't fishing down here in the desert. So, that means i got to find a place to go fishing. And I don't know. I'm all packed up. I'm going to go to my regular coffee spot do my regular thing but after instead of going in the park or heading back to the base I'm gonna hit the road so I when I googled best places to trout fish in Arizona I got Oak Creek as number one I've been there before I've taken pictures it's goes through Sedona so maybe I'm heading to Sedona good news is it's beautiful it's beautiful there there's nothing it's not Tucson isn't beautiful I'll give you that I love it here but it's not beautiful Sedona is beautiful just amazing and last year was the first time I've ever been there, and I've been probably four times since, maybe five. Maybe today will be fifth, I don't know. My only issue with, with Sedona is no place to shower. I was trying to think of something else, but really it's not. I mean, I got free camping in the National Forest, which is just outside the city. Um, There's a natural grocers. There's a Whole Foods. There's whatever I need as far as food goes. Whatever I need. I even found a hardware store that sells his dog food cheap, which I should have waited. I just bought dog food yesterday. Uh, plenty of coffee shops. I could go to a different one probably five days a week. The only reason I never really stayed there was um, for longer than four or five days or four days was because of the shower situation. I did go up. There is a military recreation, Air Force recreation in Flagstaff. I've been up there. I drive up there, camp for a night or two, enjoy the shower, then drive back down. The thing is, it's at higher elevation, it's going to be even colder, so I don't, that might be my only option. Somebody did tell me about a, the next town over has an indoor public swimming pool. That for $8 you can get access and get, get in a shower. I don't know. I don't know. But that's the least of the problems. I think uh, I think I should be okay. It's gonna be cold, colder than here, so I don't know about that. Oh, remember yesterday? Uh, I don't know if you watched yesterday's video, but if I get over too soon, I might get stuck in the left-hand turn lane. That's frustrating to see all these cars go by at a green light, and I'm sitting still at a green light because the left-hand turn lane. Is overflowing. Oh, uh, last but not least, oh, I only have 45 seconds. Last but not least, keto day 25. I feel great drinking broth. Added, I add butter to it and oil every day. I feel great. Uh, I wish I took some waist measurements beforehand, but I don't. Know. I don't know if it's my beard or if I lost lose lost some weight, but I'm kind of thin up here. Anyways. Uh, that's it for keto. It's going well. It's going strong. I might, need, might not even talk about it for the next few days until I hit like day 30. Other than that, you got any questions, got any comments, want to read my book, link down below. I appreciate it. Thank you.